Okay, so um, these are records that have been sitting here. This is on the couch that I have in my music room. So I need to move them because my daughter's coming into town and she's going to want a place to sit. So uh, these are records that um, either I've gotten from used record stores in the last few weeks. Some of them are records that I've gotten in the mail. What I'm going to do real fast is go ahead and just thumb through some of these and let you all take a look. So the first one here is Hogan's Heroes, Sing the Best of World War II. This is just uh, songs that uh, people from Hogan's Heroes, uh, you know, the, the cast uh, sang, very cool stuff. Next is going to be a record I got from a local record store, Saxon, I really like Saxon a lot. So that's pretty cool. This is one that I've gotten in the mail. This is a, a Japanese pressing, uh, the Beatles, uh, Talk Down Under. This is a promo copy of an interview disc. It is actually on green vinyl. So it's pretty cool. They wanted to take a look at the uh, at the label, but yeah, very cool. I uh, love Japanese pressings, and I really like the Beatles a lot. This here is ACDC Back in Black. Uh, what's very cool about this copy is it is on clear vinyl, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the jack jacket and show it to you. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around real fast. But there you go. Next one here is upside down. I'll turn it around. This here is Spin Doctors from the 1990s. Uh, I really like Spin Doctors a lot. Uh, this is also on green vinyl, so this is an original pressing, so it's very, very cool. Put that over there. Got this one in. This is uh, a reissue. This is uh, Steve Miller uh, Band uh, Wide River. Very cool. We got the Bengals music on vinyl uh, reissue, so uh, different light. Let's see, let's go on here. This is uh, something that I actually cleaned. They're over here. They're kind of like waiting on me to play them still. The records are right there. So I haven't had time, but um, <clears throat> but this is a, a, a record I picked up from a, um, a record store day. I never had time to play it. So I was, I was, I'm trying to go ahead and make time to play that. This here is something I picked up also from a used record store. This is a John Williams Symphony Suite, E.T., Close Encounters, Star Wars. Uh, so this is just uh, uh, songs from sci-fi shows. I'm really big into sci-fi and sci-fi music. So this is one I pulled out to play that I've had for a while, but it's a very cool record. This is Van Halen. This is uh, uh, a live concert from 1977. This is a Rocks Box uh, issue. Rocks Box puts out extremely uh, high quality uh, pressings, even though they are uh, gray market bootlegs. So that's pretty cool. This here is another one of these um, Superstar Concert Series. This here is Eddie Money from, I think, 1991 or 92, I believe. So it's three LPs. Uh, so very, very cool. Upside down for you. I may go ahead, may go ahead and, uh, and turn that around and post so you can see it. But very cool stuff. So let's see, this is another... Um, uh, this is a King Biscuit Flower Hour. hour. Uh, this is a live uh, Billy Idol concert. Best of. This is the ABC Radio Network, as it's all shown here to you. So I really like these radio concerts. Here's another radio concert. Another Best of uh, King Biscuit Flower Hour. This one is The Who from 19... Is it 1984? 1984. Very cool. And let's see what else we got here. Uh, this is uh, Blur. This is from, um, I think, from the very last record store day. Uh, I got this for a really good price on eBay. It is signed and it is numbered. So very, very cool. Yeah, I believe it's on light blue vinyl. This is a, another record that came in the mail. Uh, really big in the soundtracks. And this one is sealed. This is a sealed copy. I'm not sure what year it came out. It was around 1979, it says on the back. So take a peek at the record here but this is a sealed copy still has its original price tag and uh, so very very cool this is uh, a record I picked up from a used record store a couple weeks ago FM Black Noise I've been getting in, into this band this will be the, the second uh, release of them that I have so pretty cool this is Duke Jupiter I, this is a band I really gotten into I didn't know about until a few years ago but I think this is going to be the third, uh, uh, the third album of theirs I got, but like they are amazing. So uh, if you're not sure about this band, check them out. Very cool. This is a uh, White Knuckle Ride. We have uh, Andrew Gold, 
um, all this in heaven too. Uh, I do like Andrew Gold. I didn't have this, I picked it up. Uh, Michael Stanley Band, pretty cool stuff. Uh, Van McCoy and his Magnificent Movie Machine. So this is uh, going to be disco error, but it has uh, stuff from like the love theme from Star is Born and um, ma uh, Mahogany, another uh, theme from Shaft, Laura's theme, so that kind of stuff, but it's pretty cool. Another Miko. I collect Miko. I've never seen this one before, so this is very cool. This is going to add to my, to my Miko collection. This is uh, uh, Swing Swing Time's Greatest Hits. So there is a, pic a picture of Miko right there. And you can take a look at the track listing. Very, very cool. Uh, I didn't even know about this record. And I saw it in a used record store for a, for a few dollars. So of course I had to pick it up. Uh, we have Star Wars, music from Star Wars. This here is the Electric Moog. So more, um, this is uh, Miko type music. It's not Miko, but it's Miko type, but it's very cool. Some of the, this is an older pressing, but some of the newer pressings have a, a little circle thing up here on the top in the corner here. It says, this is not the soundtrack, but uh, the, the original pressings didn't have that. I guess uh, maybe, uh, you know, the people that did Star Wars got angry because people would think that this was actually the soundtrack when it, when it really, really is not. So we have another Michael Stanley band, Heartland. Uh, we have Out of My Mind, John Moore and the Expressway. This is a special edition of blue vinyl. This is a 12-inch uh, a, a single. So very, very cool. Uh, this is from, not sure what year it's from. I think it's from the 80s. So very cool. And let's go over here. This is April Wine. So this would be the second April Wine album that I have. And this here is Walking Through the Fire. So pretty, pretty cool. Uh, Trooper, uh, pretty cool. Canadian band, actually April Wine is a Canadian band too. I think I've shown uh, a couple, a few uh, uh, Canadian bands here. But this is Trooper, so very cool. This is a band called The Records. I never heard it before. While I was in the store, I actually pulled my phone out and played this which I don't do a lot in stores. I try to, uh, you know, figure it out without doing that because it takes time. But I was really intrigued by this to see what kind of music they are. But it's just, it's just uh, rock music and they sound pretty good actually. So um, I decided to go ahead and uh, pick this up. So there you go, that's the records. We have the Daniel Band, Running Out of Time. This is another uh, Canadian band. Cool stuff. So we have the best of the guess who. Uh, okay, I'm a big fan of the guess who. I got a bunch of their 45s. I don't think I have any of their LPs. So this would be the first one, even though it is the greatest hits. We have Van Zant, more dirty deals. Very cool stuff. Last but not least, I'm gonna try to make this real short. So this is a record, not this particular one. Uh, I got this, I won this record off of a radio station around 1980. I think this is a, either 79 or 80. I'm trying to look at the date on the 1980, it says, it looks like. So yeah, so I won this off a radio station when I was in junior high school. It's actually a really good band. It's a, it's a, a rock, kind of like, a little bit like Southern rock, but not really as hard. When I remember, I remember, I'm, this is like 30 or something years ago, so, or 40 years ago, excuse me. But I've never seen this record anywhere else. Now, I ended up selling all the records that I owned right before I went into the military including this one and i've never seen it anywhere else i've never seen i mean i've been digging now for records for since the 1990 and uh, i've never seen this this record anywhere else ever so i don't know how uncommon it is or if the band did anything else i haven't had time to look but i do remember that i enjoyed this this record i enjoyed this group again it's from 1980 uh so i, I just saw this at a used record store just for a few dollars and of course i picked it up so that's all the records that I have here. Now I'm gonna go and put them away so my daughter has somewhere to sit. But I do wanna thank everybody for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.